Good morning, Second Swing Faithful. How is everybody this morning? I am Buzz, and it is Monday the 14th of June. I am in a Hampton Inn in Marlborough, Massachusetts. Golf tournament is about 20 miles away in Fitchburg and it is currently not going on. Um, basically, this is what's going on. It's pouring. And with pouring came a lot of lightning. So, um, tip my cap to Mass Golf. They do a fantastic job of keeping everybody informed on what's going on. Uh, at 7.58 this morning, uh, after about three groups had teed off, I got a text message that said, hey, everything's suspended. So I am very much in holding pattern. I had an afternoon tea time, 1.14, and uh, my guess is it's probably not going to be 1.14 anymore. So um, definitely one of those things where, you know, this is kind of the, this could be kind of the rough side of, of tournament golf when you don't get things to go the way we really want them to go and uh, bright sunny skies and good conditions and that kind of stuff. So um, weather forecast is not very good for tomorrow either. Um, I was looking like maybe the early morning afternoon setup was going to get a better break than the afternoon early. Might actually flip. Don't know for sure. Uh, we'll see how much golf we're able to get in today. Depends on how long this lasts. Looked like on the radar, we probably had about two hours or so of this kind of stuff before the storm moved through. And then it just depends on how much water got on the golf course and whether they need to do anything with it or not. Anyhow, that's a quick update from the Massachusetts State Open. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're in drier conditions than we are. Unless you want to be in rainy conditions, and in that case, then I hope you're in rainy conditions. Um, yeah, be safe, be well, and uh, more updates to come from the Mass Open. See ya. Good evening, Second Swing Faithful. This is a post-tournament drive time chat with Buzz. Well, I'm exhausted. Mentally and physically. The old fat guy managed to get it around all three rounds at the Massachusetts Open. Uh, that was accomplishment number one. So physically, yeah, tired. Uh, I've got about three hours left of a six and a half hour drive home. On the mental front, this is where golf gets this is where golf gets tough. Is uh, you know, not only the stuff that I deal with on a, on a consistent basis going into events, but during events when the wind is blowing or you have uh, weather issues or just frankly having a golf course that's just really challenging in and of itself. Uh, this was a very old Donald Ross golf course. Um, fantastic condition greens are great they're in the process of bringing back the greens to their their original style so they were expanding some of the greens um, really just a fantastic golf course uh, and it it stands on its own uh, you know the, the scores were the cut line was six over par and the weather really never got that bad. So uh, if that tells you how hard the golf course is, that's, it's, it's, it's solid. It's solid. And then got to the golf course today. And let me tell you, we had, uh, we had some wind today and that made things even more challenging along with difficult final round pins. So, um, quick recap uh round one got off to a horrible start uh i parred the first three and then bogeyed the next three so i was three over through six holes and uh managed to claw my way back uh, the new me just doesn't get upset about anything i like the new me new me's good 
uh, I'm embracing the new me. Rather than beating myself up, I'm just like, okay, let's see how this plays out. Keep swinging, try to do something. I mean, look, it's a 54 hole golf tournament. Yes, there's a cut, but you just have to keep your head on your shoulders and, and keep trying to make positive swings. Um, so that part was, uh, you know, I got myself into a, into a rough spot and I clawed my way back. Um, my tee time had been pushed back to 255. So, and it was playing difficult. So, you know, we were the last group to finish uh, on our side and we finished almost in the dark. Um, I did bogey the last hole. I hit a solid iron shot, something I had not done pretty much the entire day. Just left the face open and hit it in the right hand bunker and couldn't get up and down. Uh, this is what it is. Uh, second day, uh, we had uh, pretty decent weather and a little cool in the morning, but that's fine. Um, I, I got off to a better start and um, you know, didn't have the didn't have the pressure of trying to claw my way back, which really made a big difference. And I was able to make some good strides. Uh, made five birdies and three bogeys. I'm sorry, five birdies and two bogeys shoot three under par and uh that moved me up into a tie for seventh place um felt really really good about that my round was good um i started out uh in in good shape and then the my fourth hole that i played 13 uh i flat out chunked an iron shot from the tee and I got some things going on where, you know, look, we've talked about the yips, the driver yips, and so I got a lot of stress on those tee shots. Uh, but I've also got this thing where my eyes are trying to focus on the golf ball and then just kind of doing this, like all over the place. And it's driving me absolutely nuts. It causes me to thin shots. It causes me to fat shots. And it's it's really, really annoying. And I don't know quite what to do about it. I got an idea. We'll see if it works out in the next week or so. I will report back if it's working or if it's not working. Uh, but it was really bad. And, you know, I hit four or five inches behind this shot. And it's just absolutely terrible. So that was a, that was a bogey. And then I just kind of got... I got frustrated and I changed up the way I was going to try and play my iron shots, moving the ball position a little further back in my stance, trying to hit it and almost like hit knockdown shots. That did seem to help some, um, and I really didn't have too many issues today. So um, started out the day T7, um, bogeyed the first hole. This is what it is. I missed the clear, the clearance on a bunker by about maybe three feet. Um, I even took more club and ended up coming up short. So, you know, uh, there wasn't any sand in the bunker. Feet had good sand. Ball didn't have any good sand. Blast out 25 feet. Big bogey. Big, no big deal. Part two, part three, and then my analysis for the week was number four. I played four, four over for the week. Two over today. Uh, hit a decent tee shot just into the left rough. Second shot, rough kind of caught the caught the club a little bit, caused me to pull it just a touch in the left hand bunker. Left hand bunker had tons of sand, uh, so my my bunker shot kind of came out thick, and uh, and a three putt. So uh, classic double bogey. Um, and then I clawed my way back. So birdies at. Uh, six, eight, and ten got me back to even. And I proceeded to get a good up and down on eleven, and then I three putted twelve and thirteen. This was the place that really tested the tested my my determination to not get frustrated out there. It would have been very very easy to take that second three putt and just get frustrated. Given that. The back nine on this golf course is very hard to make up shots. And uh, I didn't get frustrated. I didn't, I didn't let, just did not let it happen. Went to 14, 
been a tough tee shot for me. There's out of bounds right. Makes me nervous. I pulled my first two days tee shot just a little bit to the left. Did make birdie from over there yesterday. And uh, just kind of hung it a little bit toward the, the right side of the fairway and kicked just into the rough. Kind of a thick lie. Wind's back in the face. And, you know, I just decided I was going to take one extra club, chop it out, try to let it run up. And I'll tell you what, this shot couldn't have come out much better. Landed just short, ran up on the green, took the slope up, and then came back down toward the pin at about seven or eight feet. Knocked it in for birdie. Just complete change of, of just a mental outlook. It wasn't, it wasn't that I was upset. It wasn't that I was frustrated. It wasn't that I was happy either. So, you know... I wasn't playing badly. I was two over for the day, even for the tournament. I didn't know and look to see what anybody else was doing. I just knew this golf course plays tough. So I could not give up on the round. So that got me back to one under for the for the tournament. And I'm feeling pretty decent. A good par on 15, though I had an opportunity that didn't hit a very good butt. Uh, par 16. And then I made a 35-footer on 17. And it's like, okay. Now I'm back to even for the day, back to 200 for the tournament, feeling really good, make a good solid par on 18, and ended up finishing solo seventh. Uh, this was a good week for me. This was a very good week. I had a very good brain week on the golf course. Maybe not a great brain week off the golf course because my nerves have been crazy ever since I qualified for the Senior Open. Uh, I've just been fixated on, oh my God, I've got to play in front of a bunch of people. I haven't done that for years and years and years. Uh, you know, all of the stupid scenarios that I can possibly create in my head, I'm doing. So um, I was really trying to use this week as a, you know, uh, a building block and a kind of a litmus test for what I might be able to to accomplish at the, at the Senior Open. And... I passed the test. I really did. Um, this is a golf course that really requires you to hit some drivers. I was up to the challenge. I did it. I hit, uh, I think I probably hit 30 drivers this week. Uh, that for me is unbelievable. Uh, considering that at the, the qualifier for this tournament, I had a bad brain day and I couldn't hit one. So, you know, now it's, you know, now I'm actually feeling like, you know, I've got I've got some ability out there, and I can I can take that with me uh, going forward. So we will hope. So this was a good week. Um, I feel better mentally. <laughs> I'm not going to feel better physically. I'm exhausted mentally because playing and all that win, playing into a into a top ten position and trying to hold on and making it difficult on yourself will wear you out and I am tired so and I gotta be in the morning uh, at work because you know I've been taking a lot of time off I got a lot more time off coming gotta work sometime so uh, I'm back at it in the morning but that is the Massachusetts State Open wrap up uh, couldn't really be much happier playing against these young guys man this stuff is difficult and the Mass Open's awesome because like the PA Open, you have to qualify. So it's not just pay and play. You're getting the best players out there. And, you know, with, with this one, it's open. You know, Pennsylvania's only open to Pennsylvania residents. This one's open to anybody. So we had a really good field and a lot of good players. And I'll tell you what, I am uh, I'm really proud of myself. I'm not, I don't say that very often. And I don't say it lightly. This means a lot to me going up and playing in Massachusetts playing for my dad uh it just you know it this was kind of the result I was really looking for I could have won this golf tournament um if I didn't have the three three putts that I had today I would have won this golf tournament um it is what it is I'm, I'm totally okay with it totally okay with it I played well I managed myself well and I got beat by six other really good players. So that's cool. Hey, I 
tip my cap to everybody that beat me. Uh, it was it was tough out there, and we had a great golf course. Can't ask for much more than that. All right, that's it from, uh, well, I'm in New York right now, uh, but Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania, buzz is out. We'll talk soon, guys. Take care. Everybody be safe.